This little video escapade is entitled Combining Jing and PowerPoint as you learn to develop your instructional resources. Live long and prosper, and may the force be with you. All right, my friends, here we are where we're going to uh, show you how to use Jing to do a PowerPoint, and I think you will enjoy this. The first thing I'm going to do is add a little PowerPoint in here, which is kind of cute. I, I call it the... Uh, uh, I think you'll get a kick out of it. Of course, I deny any resemblance of this to myself. So I load my PowerPoint up. You see that I have Gene over here on the side. Let me go over here and put Gene right there. Now then, I would go into Gene. I've selected what I want. And I would start my recording right there with Gene. And I'm going to move that down a little bit. Well, hello. Welcome to TDEV 427, Developing Instructional Resources push right here and watch what happens. It swings out and there he is, the infamous dog himself, welcoming you to TDEV 427. Let's swing it back in on the video. It looks good. Now here's how I move through the video. You see that I'm recording this. I'll come right over here and watch me page down one. Look at there. Welcome to our subject matter, the Pawpawsaurus Campbelli. The Pawpawsaurus lived in north central Texas during the Cretaceous period and was one of the most primitive known species of nautosaurid dinosaurs. The Pawpawsaurus was characterized by a thick skull and tough, flexible armor, which served to protect it from the powerful predators of its Mesoic era. This dinosaur's preferred habitat was usually along the shorelines of lakes. Well, Pawpawsauruses haven't changed much then. I've been told that I do have a thick skull and tough, flexible hide. So, and I do live very close to a lake, and I might be somewhat primitive. I do need protection from grandchildren and others. Okay, so once we're through, we can page down to the next one. There we are. This was brought to you by TMAU's infamous Dr. Dog, Rusty Waller at TAMU-commerce.edu, and lo and behold, there is my cell phone number. Please don't call that after 9 p.m. at night. I tend to overreact sometimes when they call me at 11 p.m. and all of that. It's not that I'll be ugly to you. It's just that I get up real early, and if you call me at 11 p.m., I'm likely to call you at 5 a.m. Kind of tit for tat and swap for swap. Should help you a little bit. Hope you enjoyed that. Now, once we're through recording that video, we push right here, and it says finish recording. It comes up. Let's name this the pawpaw. Papasaurus, and I, I generally save mine over on the desktop, you see, so I'll save mine to the desktop. I'll uh, downsize that, and lo and behold, here's the Papasaurus. So that should be, uh, should be pretty interesting there. So I think you're, in, think you're in very, very good shape. Well, friends, your attendance to this little lesson in you combining Jing and PowerPoint has been greatly appreciated. I hope you've grown from it, and to quote the scripture, go thou and do likewise. This little video has been brought to you by the infamous TAMUC Dr. Dog, and here's my email, my cell phone number. Remember, don't call me after 9 p.m. at night, lest I return the call before 5 a.m. Have a good day.